All right. Yeah, so you're on now. You can take it away when you're ready. Okay, so like, me and my friend, we went to Wild Child this one night, and it was like, so dead. And we ended up running into this like, random crackhead, and he said he was a coke dealer, and we decided to get into his car. Okay. That, <laughs> that was not a good idea, like at all. And we like, drove around Windsor doing a bunch of deals with this guy. What the fuck? Yeah, okay. no, that wasn't, a, it wasn't a good idea. And like, keep in mind we're both like, really, really drunk. Yeah. So we end up going to this guy's house because he says he, there's like a big after party, right? Okay. We pull up, there's like this like 40 year old crackhead on the couch, this random lady. We start getting accused that we stole like his drugs. We have to clarify we don't do that type of stuff. It was a huge shit show. Wait, that you don't do drugs or you yeah, don't we steal? Don't, we don't do both. I don't Wait, so why, did, why were you following this guy in the first place? What was the idea? For the plot. For the plot? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, so for the plot, we went to this crackhead's house thinking it was a good idea. And he starts accusing me and my friend. And I even showed him, like, my purse. I'm like, look. I'm like... It is a little <laughs> sketch, though. Like, even, like, put yourself in his shoes. Why are these random girls just following me into my house and now my drugs are missing? I'm not accusing well, you. Well, like, why would you bring us home with you? I don't know. <laughs> like... You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just it's super strange. But, yeah, so we start getting accused, and we're like, fuck this, let's leave. He leaves his own house and leaves us there to, like, go do another deal. Okay. So we start walking off, and we're down, like, this random street in Windsor, and I'm not even from here. So, like, we're pretty much going in a random direction. Wait, how old were you when you were doing this? Oh, this was, like, in September. And how old are you now? I'm 21. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah. So we're walking down the street and I hear his car coming and I'm like, oh fuck, like his car's coming. And this man is like insistent we get in his car. And we're like, no, it's good. We called an Uber. We're good. We're chilling. You don't recognize this guy at all? No. It, he's, he's like, get in my car. No. Well, it was the same. It was a drug dealer. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So he found us down the street and we're just like, no, it's okay. Like we got an Uber. Like just gonna walk home so we start walking and then we see like the sign of a and w on the street we're like holy shit no way so we tried getting a and w too and that wasn't working and a stranger pulled up and he's like do you want me to order for you guys and we're like bet okay sure why not and we got into that stranger's car but you couldn't order because your only drive through was open, is that why? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so like... So you get into another stranger's car after yeah. all that shit just happened. Okay. Yeah, and when we get into another stranger's car and we told them what happened, and then he gave us a ride home, so... All right, not too night. bad. That's actually yeah. like one for two. <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty good night. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's like 50-50 whether or not you should be getting to strangers cars. And, oh, you definitely should. It's for the plot. I see. Okay. <laughs> all right. So next time, I should definitely get into a stranger's car. If, if you have not died yet from doing that type of stuff, you are a major I don't know character. if any strangers have offered me to get in their car, to be honest. Oh, I just ask them. You ask them. Usually. Damn. I feel like even if I asked the stranger to get in my car, that would be even less, less likely to get invited in, but... Really? Who knows? Maybe I'm just reading the odds wrong. I mean, like, you could always try. What's your success rate doing this? Mine? Yeah. It usually works like every time. Like every time. Like I'm going on an adventure if I want what to. What the fuck? Okay. All right. Well, I guess I gotta try it out now. Yeah. Saves me on gas, right? Might as well just <laughs> pitch a ride. Literally. Don't right. get a ride home. Just like find a stranger. They will, they will most likely drive you home and not kill you. Fuck, fair enough. All right. <laughs> uh, any other interesting stories you want to share? Um, I don't know. I mean, I've got a lot, but I'm, I'm not sure what I should share. You have time. You can dig through it. You know, find another gem if you wish. Um, when I broke up with my ex, okay, his mom asked for the house key back, and my cat would, like, shit on the floor, right? <laughs> Wait, you were living at his mom's house, I'm assuming? Yeah, like, okay. we were living together. Right. So, she asked for this house key back when, like, we broke up, and I'm like, fuck it, whatever. I still had to get my shit. And my cat shits on the floor. So, like, I grabbed all my shit, and I left the house key, like, right in the cat shit, and I said, like, there's, there's, well, there's your house key. What the fuck? That's so sick. Not only did my cat shit on your floor, 
But thanks for letting me live here, lady boss. <laughs> yeah, it was well deserved. Damn, dude. Wait, what did she do to you? She was a fucking asshole. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Alright, I guess maybe it was deserved then. Well, like, she was. She would, like, go downstairs. Like, we'd have, like, the whole basement to ourselves, and she'd go downstairs and, like, go through her shit every time we'd leave the house. So, like, what there was the that. Fuck? How old were you guys at this time? Like, 19 till, like, this, like, 20. I see. So, it was. Was she, like, like suspicious of you guys having. No, she stuff? was just. She was just Snoopy. She, she just knew had to know everything. Yeah, but... she knew what we did. Like, we weren't... We didn't hide anything. So, Interesting. Like, yeah, no, that was pretty funny. And then they changed the locks on me because I did that. Well, clearly you don't have a spare key, right? If it was stuck well, in the shit. that's what I said. But, like, <laughs> like, why even ask for the key back if you're going to change it? But... No, exactly. You see where the key is. Are you, like, a little bit nutty yourself? I don't know. Like, I can't... I have no idea. I don't think so. I mean... like... A lot of people tell me I am, but I don't think I am. Because you did just say you got into two strangers' cars in the same night. It's kind of like I'm insane. social. But then you put the key in the cat's shit. Like I don't think that's <laughs> social. That's <laughs> that like was well slightly. Deserved. Okay. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. No. Anything else you'd like to share? I'm sure you got more of these. <laughs> I mean, I do, but like it's insane. It, the more insane, the better. More clicks, right? More yeah. More comments. True. More. Uh, <laughs> um, well, like, the same ex, like, I'm, like, I don't know what type of revenge I think of, but, like, in my head, it's great. So, me and my friend went to Value Village, and we got, like, this really fucked up, like, old doll that was stuffed with, like, hay. It looked like it was probably, like, some pioneer's baby doll. Okay. And I'm, like, fuck it, we'll say it's cursed or something, and we, like, fucked up its face and stuff. And, like, my bright idea is, like, let's leave it at my ex's house. Like, he'll think it's cursed, right? Why would he think it's cursed? Because he knows I'm fucked up. Like, I was already looking at cursed dolls before we broke up. <laughs> so, like, he'd think that I'd go on Kijiji and buy, like, a $400, like, Annabelle doll. Dude, wait, hold on. So, after you broke up with your ex, you left the key in the shit. <laughs> yeah. And they changed the locks. Yeah. You went to Value Village. You bought a fucking possessed-looking doll. You made it look more possessed. Yeah. And put it back in his room, or like I like left it outside his window of his house. So like but I why? knew where the bedroom was. Why? <laughs> Cause I want him to think that he's cursed. So like everything bad that happens to him, I want him to think it's that like, doll. Like why? Why can't she have like a clean break? Why do you have to like tort like? Well, there's been no contact since that. But <laughs> did he know it was you that did this? Oh, did you hear from him? No, but I know he knew. Okay. All right. Well. All right. <laughs> Before we broke up, I was literally looking at like possessed dolls to buy. Interesting. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> any more stories about this ex or anything else? Or is uh, this where the... I don't know. You don't know? I have no, I have no clue, but... Alright. Well, thanks for sharing all that. It was yeah. much appreciated. No problem. Uh, yeah. It's quite a lot. <laughs> I know. Well, like you said, like, interesting or something. Yeah, no, it was. You definitely have never heard of any of these things being done by anyone. That's fucking wild that you left it in the cat shit. I have a it's picture. so sick. You have a picture. Yeah, you want to see? Right, yeah, I gotta see this picture now. Let me try to find this. One. That's so wild that you... It's like... insane. I literally... And, like, he had weird fetishes. So I, like, left a note with it and I took a picture. So, like, if anything happened, I could just, like, have that picture. Wait, what? What picture did you leave? Like, I left a note of his fetishes. I put, like, and I And you took a picture of it? Yeah. And then what are you going to do with I, this picture? I, I saved it. Just, just so you case. can remember, like, what fetishes he has? No, just in case. Just in case what? Like, I need a receipt. But didn't you write the receipt, or did he write it? Like, I wrote it, but, like, just in case. Like, you know what I mean? Like, in case, like, one of his friends say, like, oh, you're fucked up. Interesting. <laughs> like, so what are, what are these fetishes? Now I'm curious. Like, midget porn and, like chicks with dicks and I don't shame like you do you but like I just had to leave that there that was pretty good like, <laughs> I see so just chicks with dicks and midget porn well there's more but I, those ones stood out to me the most well you have a list right <laughs> like it was insane like I don't I'm trying to find this picture of Lakeem with the cat shit and like it's a really good one <laughs> well you can go by date right you know approximately when you broke up it would be on yeah. the last day I'm looking for around the oh I found it Oh my gosh, that's so sick. Yeah, I gotta put that in somewhere. 
That's why your cat took that shit on their floor. Yes, dude, I can imagine why that mom was salty. I if wanted that, to hype my cat up. If your cat's always shitting on her floor like that, I get so mad, dude. Like, how could you not be mad? She didn't do it. Like that cat didn't do it off of the end. I swear she knew. Like we were bro- like breaking up, so she did so it she for me. So she deliberately took a shit in her kitchen, and you left the. Kid. <laughs> Oh my lord, that's so sick. Fuck it. <laughs> There's your key back. That's hilarious. Alright, alright. Yeah. Well, I guess that's that, right? Yeah. Well, thanks a lot. You're welcome.